What's up Gunpla Modelers, this is Spire2K2 and today we're looking at the Victory Gundam version Kotoki unboxing. I apologize for the background noise, I have a fan on. It's hot as heck where I do all these videos, so give me a break. Anyway, we're going to look at this today. I've already unboxed this and I looked at the parts looking out of the bags. Except for one bag I'm not going to be doing, it's this bag. This is the clear parts. This is going to be pretty much the B-plate for all the blues. I don't feel like messing with this, so I'm not playing with that. But you get the option like the bottom of this thing here, which is only a slide out. Otherwise, it looks like this. And there you go. You can see the collection of Gunpla that can do it. And here's the same club and G, yada yada yada. So it looks like with the clear parts, I'm not interested. Anyway, here's the side of the box. See that you get the top fighter, bomb fighter, uh, both parts in flight form, and two uh, parts or two planes, one hexa, one regular victory. And you could combine the top and bottom fires into the Victory Gundam with either the Vexa Hexa head or the regular V Vin head. And that's the one side. The other side just shows, and defending the back and to the left. And you get the back view of what it looks like. And like any other Katoki kits, this is heavy, heavily stickered. All right. Let's start here with. The stickers, as I was saying. And let me rotate the box. As you can see, it comes with red stickers for the uh, circles that you're supposed to do for the arm parts. I'm a little disappointed about that. So you get green stickers for the eyes and cameras. And whatnot. Alright. And we get this standalone piece, which is energy shield. You can see that it has little energy bindings, electricity going through and it's quite holographic as well. You can't really tell because it's in plastic but it's quite nice. Let's start off here with the A plate and an extra piece for it that I'll point out in a second. We got mainly your reds, yellows, I'm guessing a black, navy blue or black and your clear parts and you get two options for the uh, V-fin by the way you get the hard plastic one or you get the spongy version I'm probably going to go with the hard one unless I like the spongy version here anyway that's the A plate our C plate here has pretty much everything you would know and love there's the pilots right here where my finger is and main character who I don't know with a horror I'm guessing or it's a beach ball or something I don't know uh, you get the Gundam and Hexa heads and enjoy here's one thing I was expecting to see polycats uh, I guess I'll figure how that goes off later but here's that plate I was talking about, the V plate, Todd Blues. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't go with the clear version. That looks blah. And we got the G plate here, which has all three action base connectors and parts of the gun. You got this plate here, which I don't care for the name, has beam savers and the beam fan. We got our F play here, which has inner frame details and hands and whatnot. Yeah. Like I said, this has all the uh, inner frame and the hands and very fun detail. We get two 
deflates exactly the same and the have parts for the jets and parts for legs and arms and shoulders and we get let me see here yep the two identical heat plates for more in inner detail legs and necks and all that fun stuff you also get this little uh, card here, which I don't know what the hell it says. You get this uh, level suit of uh, movie files, I'm guessing. You can look up videos. It has a code here. You scan with your smartphone, I'm guessing. I'll have to try it out, see if it works or not. And you get the manual. You've probably seen the interior of it already. I don't care. I don't feel like showing it, but that will be my review, end of my review from this, and I hope you guys enjoyed, I'll catch you on the flip side.